All right, guys. So my name is Holly Boyer, and I am the owner and founder of AK Essential Wellness. I just wanted to get on tonight and do an Essential Oils 101 class. So let's get started. Um, hopefully take about 35 minutes. So what are essential oils? We're going to talk about what they are, how sourcing affects the potency and purity of oils, and get comfortable with the top 10 oils so that you can use them safely and effectively in your home. So welcome all to all of you who are joining for the replay. I'm super grateful that you guys are taking time to, um, to learn, and I feel a lot of gratitude um, just for um, getting to be a part of your journey with oils. So, as I said before, I'm Holly Boyer. I am a registered nurse. I am a gold leader and educator with doTERRA. I have two little babies, um, and I'm just super passionate about preventative health and wellness. My heart is to inspire, educate, and empower for you to be able to advocate for your own health and wellness and really feel confident with your oils and incorporating them in your wellness routine. So in this webinar, you will learn why I care about taking natural and preventative approach, why you should care, why essential oils are a great and key tool, and just some simple steps you can take for a more preventative natural life with huge benefits. So I believe there's a time and a place for modern medicine. I love being a nurse. I feel super grateful for the opportunity to get to serve and care for patients. But I'm also passionate about building a bridge between modern medicine and preventative health. It's worth taking a natural approach before you try something synthetic. Really really looking at um, reducing toxic load more than anything. Our body was designed to heal itself when it is given the right tools. And our behavior is often an expression of our beliefs. When we know better, we do better and we're empowered to grow. Most people don't know how they really should feel. I believe in a holistic approach to wellness. You all deserve to feel confident, strong, and vibrant. And I have had my own journey um, back to this where I have not felt confident, strong, and vibrant. And so I am right along with you and passionate about in, in, um, equipping and educating and supporting those on a similar journey. So where my journey began, these are just pictures of my life. Um, right there is me running. My journey with oils and really preventive health started when I started having issues with fertility. And I lost four babies, and my husband and I just had a really hard four years of trying to conceive. And so I ran a lot just to really, um, uh, just really as I grieved. And then there's a picture of me pregnant with my baby, Sayla. So she would have been my fifth pregnancy, and I was just beyond grateful. So that was about two months before I delivered her, and there she is there. And then pictures of my husband and I and my kids and I. And these are all a big part of why and where I'm at today because that, that's where my journey began. It was through the heartache and the pain that I really started to look at labels, my body, what was in my body, and reduce toxic load and started to incorporate natural solutions um, instead of synthetics if I could. Oops. Hold on. So there's a fire in her soul and a dream in her heart and a tribe of women banded together with her. Um, you know, I don't do, I don't uh, teach or equip or do this by myself. There is an amazing community in AK Essential Wellness and there's a lot of other communities growing out of it globally. And these are some of the gals that I get to do it with and I'm so privileged. This is a picture of me and my top leaders at convention in 2017 in Salt Lake City. And these are all mamas, uh, teachers, nurses, educators who are really um, inspiring others, educating and passionate about teaching wellness. And these are an amazing group of women. I feel so privileged that I get to do this with alongside of friends and just an amazing community of like-minded people. So let's just pause for a second. Um, I got my diffuser going. I've got my tea. Um, I hope that you guys grab something yummy to drink. It's cold here in Alaska, so I'm always having something hot. But let's just pause here and take a health check-in with yourself. 
emotionally, are you, are you feeling grounded and, and calmed? Are people and things determining how you show up in life? Are they the barometer for how you're doing? What are you, or how are you doing spiritually? How connected do you feel to your higher power, to yourself? How grounded and grateful and peaceful do you feel? Do you feel like your life has meaning and purpose? And just quietly take a moment to really think about just where you're at. You know, we're, we're, we're so filled with um, busyness and chaotic life that I feel like we often forget where we're at and where we're, what we need emotionally and spiritually. And this is really um, foundational for our, our holistic health. And then physically, how do you feel in your physical body? Do you feel energetic? Do you feel pain? Do you feel fatigue? These are all just questions for you to kind of take a check-in with your body and yourself and feel, um, you know, how, how does your body feel today? There's no judgment. This is just a place to check in. We're all on a journey and it's all about progress and not perfection. And we often want to get to, to point Z from point A, but there's steps, there are baby steps. And so really learning how to embrace life as it comes and learn new tools and just a couple at a time until they become habit and then taking on more. So please know as I get started into the oils that I'm not a doctor. I do not treat, I do not diagnose or cure. I'm an advocate for preventative health and wellness. I'm a mama of two babes, and I love to share my experience, strength, and hope in regards to essential oils and natural solutions. I am a nurse, and I love to share my experience in modern medicine to collaborate with natural options um, because my passion is to create a beautiful marriage between the two. I'm just going to mute. Okay. Um, all right. Sorry, I'm just, okay. So where is our health care today in the U.S.? We currently have an opioid crisis. According to the CDC in 2016, we've nearly doubled since 2010 the amount of deaths on opioid overdose from 20,000 to 42. Um, we are spending trillions of do do dollars on chronic and mental health conditions. Um, actually, 86% of our nation's annual health care expenditures are on mental health and chronic illness. Cancer care is on the rise. We have spent $157 billion in 2010, and that's an old statistic. And then, um, and then in 2012, about half of all adults, which was 117 million people, had one or more chronic health condition. Um, and our mental health is wor worsening. Rates of youth with severe depression are in increasing. Um, they've nearly doubled since 2012. I tell you all of this just to paint a picture of where we're at as a country. We spend more money on, um, on health care than any other industrialized country combined, and we have access to the most amazing acute care and medical care than any other country. Why is this? And so I really want to just um, paint a picture of where we're at today and how taking steps preventatively for each of us individually can really start to change and make a huge shift in where our health care and economy is um, as a national on a national level. So change is coming. There is a huge shift. In the last four years that I have been sharing and teaching doTERRA, I have felt this. And this last year was really momentous, especially in September as we got to go to the first ever um, symposium for healthcare professionals on essential oils and what's coming out in studies. And it's so, so exciting. But it begins with you and I. So here is the new healthcare model. Each step builds on the next, addressing the whole person. And so the bottom step is really diet, um, eating right. This is foundational for your overall wellness. You know, making changes like eating organic, looking at the dirty dozen in your produce and, and, and getting pesticide-free berries, or really starting to pay attention to your meat and getting organic chicken. This is foundational and can start to reduce toxic load and actually fuel your body and your cells to build on other things. And then the second one is exercise. We're designed to move. And so really creating um, uh, you know, rhythms in your life where you're moving, whether that's having a standing desk at work or um, you know, getting a 30-minute walk in, in the morning before you go to work and just finding ways and pockets where you can move your body. 
If you can shift these two things, your diet and exercise, you will have transformational success in your overall health and wellness. And then it sets you up for rest and stress management. Stress is like one of the most the leading causes of all chronic illness. It places so much, um, just it, it just stresses every body system and causes so much inflammation in the body. And so when we learn how to manage our stress and also give our body the rest that it needs, our body can recuperate and actually do what it was meant to do and our cells can regenerate. Next one is reducing toxic load. This is where oils come in. Oils will help you and aid you in reducing toxic load in your home and actually um, improving your health and wellness and mood. And, and they're just one part of the pie though. Um, the other things need to be in check as well. They will not compensate for all other areas. And then next there's informed consent or informed self-care, which is really looking at, um, you know, how is your self-care? You, you, you really are in charge of you. Nobody else can do you. So learning um, ways of, like how you de-stress, how you need to sleep, exercise, finding things that you love to do. And then finally, proactive medical care, being informed and being able to advocate for yourself. And um, really all of this can build a beautiful, beautiful lifestyle when it's addressed. So let's get to the nitty gritty of essential oils while we're all here. Um, I'm going to go through the top 10 and, um, and then some of my favorite kits and stuff. So what are essential oils? Essential oils are the aromatic compounds that are either cold pressed or steam distilled from the plant. So, um, I love, love, love peppermint. So if you are here with me right now, get out your bottle of peppermint. And I will just put a drop of peppermint on my hand. Let's see. And you can just like rub it in your hand and breathe it in. And it just is like opens your airways, supports all your senses. It's amazing. Um, so peppermint is equal to one drop of peppermint is equal to 50 or 28 cups of peppermint tea. It's almost 30 cups of tea in concentration, which is huge. And one drop is actually... 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. So a lot of people love herbs and they talk about cooking with herbs, which I think are amazing. But the reality is, is the oils are far more potent than herbs and are, are amazing at flavoring food and using um, when, you're, it, when you're cooking. And they affect change and support our bodies at a cellular level. So there's various grades of essential oils. There's a synthetic, food grade and therapeutic grade. Synthetic is what's flavoring your cleaning products, your beauty products. Um, there's not any real major regulations on them. So we've all been familiar with essential oils in that regard. There's also flavor um, essential oils that we use in food, food grade. Um, and then lastly, there's therapeutic CPTG. And I'll go back. So CPTG means Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade, and that is a label that doTERRA created um, to verify their seven-point testing and verify, verify their purity and potency of their oils because there's no standard. The FDA says you only have to have 5% of pure essential oil to be marketing, marketing it as pure or organic, which is crazy. So think about what do you already know about oils or what do you already know about doTERRA? doTERRA is going mainstream. It's becoming very popular. Um, you know, a lot of people know this or that. And I just ask you to take an inventory of what you've heard or what you may know. So the first thing I really want to address is sourcing. This is imperative. Sourcing is really everything when it comes to using quality essential oils. We source from over 40 different nations and there's a hundred oils sourced from various places. Doterra goes out and finds where the plants are best indigenously grown. So I love lavender. I grew lavender in my yard in Alaska last year, but it's not going to yield the same medicinal benefit as lavender that you would source in Bulgaria because they take into the this time of season it's harvested, um, the, the soil, making sure there's no pesticides and that it's nutrient dense and that plants are thriving. There's no um, pollutants around it. Oftentimes they hike the plant material in and out or use a horse-drawn buggy. There's usually a distillery on site so that they can distill it right after it's harvested. All of these things affect how medicinally effective the, the um, essential oil is. 
So it's super, super important that you know where you're getting your oils and what's in them. Not only that, we have doTERRA created a co-impact sourcing where they source in these other nations, but they're collaborating with them so that these people can thrive. Down here on the lower left, these are all women in Nepal who are moms, and they go and source the wintergreen up in Nepal. They do it three days a week. They hike two hours each way to get the plant material, but because they're getting to work and provide for their family, they can send their kids to school, and they're making above and beyond what they would have made in their own country. There used to be a lot of um, middlemen that would not pay fair wages, and so a lot of the harvesting of essential oils was dying out. So doTERRA goes in and pays them above and beyond, but they also help equip and support these countries to be able to send their kids to school, build healthcare clinics, clean water, um, building schools. So it's above and beyond just sourcing oils, and it's really a beautiful, beautiful um, uh, marriage between the two, and, and that's called our co-impact sourcing. Lastly, I just want to briefly mention doTERRA has a Healing Hands Foundation where we donate 100% of the pro proceeds from um, the Hope Oil and or the Rose Touch Lotion or Rose Lotion. So anytime you make an order, you can get one of these and 100% of your of your purchase will go to these or this organization. And under this, this is an umbrella of multiple nonprofits. My favorite is Operation Underground Railroad, that's ending human trafficking. So doTERRA is really bringing hope and healing to the world by empowering them and equipping them with tools to be self-reliant and build sustainable jobs. So let's talk about the three ways that you use oils. We just took a drop of peppermint and put it in our hand and rubbed it in our hand and breathed that in. And it's still amazing. It's opening up my airways. It's just uplifting. It's calming my senses because I am a little nervous. So that's the aromatic use. That's also you're experiencing it topically if you put it in your hand. And there's also internal. So breathing in essential oil can be the fastest way to get the oils into your body and experience a powerful effect. They can support our bodies emotionally and physically, having a very stimulating effect on us. Essential oils can also be very calming and soothing to our system, body systems. So as you breathe in that oil, it's going right up into your nasal passages. It goes to, and triggers the olfactory bulb and then goes in, and then starts to trigger the um, limbic system in your brain that houses a lot of memories and trauma and emotion. And so you might realize that you smelt rose at your grandma's house when you were a little girl and you'll have maybe a, a, a memory recall to that. You might think, oh man, I remember this when I was five. So they're very, very powerful and potent. It's actually the fastest way that you can get the oils into your bloodstream is by using them aromatically. So diffusing is a great way for you to really support your family um, when threats are high during times like in the fall and winter when there's a lot of seasonal threats. I've got diffusers in every single room, so you would want to have a diffuser in a bedroom, in the living room. This is a picture of the Lumo diffuser. It's my favorite. It's got a two, a five, and a 10 hour setting, and then this is a petal. Both are water diffusers. You just add water, and then add whatever essential oils that you love. So Breathe and Lavender is a great duo to support little lungs or um, restful sleep and stress and relaxation. But you can diffuse um, just to purify the air, to support mood, um, all, all sorts of things. And the micromolecules are so small when you diffuse that when you turn it off, they're actually still working in the air six hours after. So it's a really, really powerful way to just support your home. So using essential oils can also be applied topically to support the body in a wide variety of ways. So I tell most new mamas that you need the touch kit when you used to get started with oils because they're already pre-diluted and you just can swipe them on your kids on the back of their neck, the back of their spine, the bottoms of their feet, and they're um, already diluted with the fractionated coconut oil. So it's important to safely dilute the oils that are intended for topical use because the, um, the vegetable oil provides a barrier to the skin and acts as a carrier into the body for absorption, which is huge. So doTERRA's oils are super, super pure and potent, and some of the oil will evaporate it before it even absorbs. So when you take a, a drop of lavender and you put it on your hand, um, 
you rub it in, you'll realize that there's no residu residual residue on your hand. It'll absorb right away. There's no greasy anything. That's because it's pure, and that's the mark of a high-grade essential oil. But that should happen even if you are using a high-grade olive oil. It should absorb quickly and leave no residue. If there's a residue, that's the synthetic that's causing issues. So it's super important to just be mindful of that. Okay, so certain CPTG essential, CPTG essential oils can be used as dietary supplements to support the body in a wide variety of ways. There's a rich culinary history with some essential oils that have been utilized for centuries for their beautiful flavor to food. So I say that because most essential oils at the health food store and I don't recommend any other but doTERRA, will say not for internal use. So this is really imperative. But if you look at, say, your bottle of lemon, and you look at the side, you should see something that says um, supplemental facts. And if it says that, that means that it's safe for internal use. And you just need a drop or two at a time. So I usually have a hydro flask, and I will take one to two drops in my hydro flask throughout the day every time I fill it up. But that's a great way to say that because not all oils, like especially some of the wood oils and like deep blue are meant for internal use. But a lot of the citrus oils and lavender are great for internal use. Um, and you can yield some great benefits. But I don't recommend that for any other oils. So how do essential oils work? There's three types of oils or essential oil. There's three types within essential oils. So we have trillions of cells and we have toxins in our body that are always blocking a lot of the communication that needs to happen between um, our cells. And so really essential oils just go in and they cleanse the receptor sites and then they support the cells to reabsorb oxygen and then they metabolize out. So they're only really supporting your body to do what it was created to do. They're extremely versatile, they work very quickly, and they metabolize out very quickly. There's different types, the phenols, the sesquiterpenes, and the monoterpenes. You know, your sesquiterpenes, they kind of govern the health of the cells. Examples are like sandalwood or myrrh. Monoterpenes, these guys help kind of reset the DNA in our body, and that's like a frankincense or a lemon or a wild orange. So there's a whole science behind it. I'm not going to get into all of that, but it's so amazing to me how they actually work. Nothing like a medication. But oil safety is a huge, huge thing that people need to be aware of. Dilution is key. It helps the essential oil to absorb and also allows you to spread the oil over a larger surface area. Some oils such as oregano, cinnamon, clove, thyme, and cassia are really warm and they can burn your skin. And also citrus oils such as bergamot and lime and grapefruit and lemon are really photosensitive, especially bergamot. So you don't want to go and put your bergamot or your lemon on in your lotion and go lay out in the sun or go on a tanning bed you could give yourself like a fifth degree burn. So it's super um, important to dilute appropriately and also be mindful. And also lastly, I'll add to that, um, you don't wanna store these in the sun. You want to keep these in a cooler environment. If you live somewhere hot, you could keep these in the fridge, um, but you, you don't want them to get adulterated in the heat. That's why they have a darker bottle to keep them um, protected from sunlight. And really, they should last a long, a long time. The, there are studies that some of the oils, non-citrus oils, last 10 or more years past, past what they're expected. And the citrus oils are so pure and potent. A lot of times you'll notice, even in my tangerine bottle, I will notice that some of it will evaporate because it, they're just so potent and pure. And so keeping them in a cool environment is super important. So let's talk about the top 10 oils. These can really be a game changer for your overall wellness and really your medicine cabinet and um, just supporting your family. Lavender, you would reach for lavender when you are needing some stress relief, calm. Um, lavender is a beautiful, beautiful um, flower plant, floral plant. And it's great for calming the skin. You would use it when you had too much sun exposure. You could pair it with some peppermint. It's also like a natural antihistamine, so it's great for internal use when threats are high or maybe you're feeling some congestion coming on. Um, it can also soothe any skin irritations. It's kind of like a, a first aid. I love to use it on my kids' skin if there's little irritations. Um, you may also continue or consider adding a couple drops to your pillow or making a sheet spray. 
There's a ton of ways you can use lavender, but this is a, a, a great one and probably the most well-known essential oil. People are usually familiar with lavender. Lemon, lemon is your cleansing agent. This is the one that is gonna cleanse and get the goo off of picture frames or off of the fridge. It's a great one for purifying the air or surfaces. It's also amazing for digestive support. You would also love to um, diffuse this when threats are high. You could diffuse this in your home just to support and purify the air. It also can help with respiratory function. I love to diffuse this with a little bit of frankincense and maybe some arborvitae or cedarwood. Um, it also is a really great mood lifter. It just kind of awakens the senses. And it's cold pressed from the Rhine, and we get this one from Sicily. So I love lemon. And actually, did I, over, I went over peppermint? I think I did. And then we will go on actually to Melaleuca. So Melaleuca is tea tree. This one is sourced from Australia. This is kind of the first Swiss army knife of oils. Um, it's great for um, all things skin. So it's been known for like using it on cold sores or if you have a wart or a skin tag. It's got a very cleansing, rejuvenating effect. It also promotes a healthy immune system. I'll sometimes put a drop right on my nose or over my sinuses just to support open airways. It also is a great protectant against environmental threats and seasonal threats. So this is a great oil that does a whole host of things. Um, and it's really fresh and herbaceous, super powerful. And I often use this in a combination with some other oils when I am battling or some major germs or under the weather. Next oil is peppermint. This is a great oil to promote healthy respiratory function. It also is great for um, head tension or if you were stressed out, like headaches. I use this through my whole pregnancy for nausea. I would just open the lid and smell it and it would help reduce nausea. Or I would take it internally with some ginger um, instead of some medications that were causing problems for me. It's great to diffuse when you're feeling fatigued or wiped out or low energy. I've been battling um, some adrenal fatigue, so it's a great one to diffuse with wild orange. You could also use it to help reduce any bloating or gas pain. It would be great for you if you had digestive issues. It is super potent and um, very tingly and very strong. So I often don't recommend it for little kids or babies um, because it can be overstimulating to the senses. But for adults, it's amazing. If you were going to work out or lived in a warmer climate, you could just put it on the back of your neck or drop in your water bottle or over your chest and just as invigorating and cooling. It's great if someone's overheating. And I'll also add peppermint, lavender, and lemon are all three great together. We actually have a, um, a supplement called Tries that utilizes these three, and they work together to help battle seasonal threats. So your lavender is like your natural antihistamine, your lemon is your cleansing agent, and your peppermint is kind of opens up your airways, and they work amazing together to help when um, springtime comes and maybe your husband's mowing the lawn and he's super congested. You could take a tri or a shot of each of those oils and a shot of water. And lastly, the last thing is there's a lot of information on doTERRA.com and doTERRA's blog. You can make an amazing foot lotion or body butter and add peppermint to any of your favorite body care products and it smells amazing. So frankincense, this is considered king of all the oils. You would use this one um, for really cell turnover. This one supports healthy cellular function in your body. So some crazy oil gurus or goofy moms like me love to take a drop under our tongue every morning just to help support your immune system. You can also put it in a veggie cap with lemon and maybe copaiba to help support your immune system and help with um, just clarity function. It's great to add to your moisturizer or lotion to reduce the appearance of fine lines or blemishes. It's amazing for skin because it's very regenerative on all cellular levels. And then also it helps with like tenderness and soreness. So maybe after a long day of being active outside, you can massage frankincense with some deep blue or aroma touch into your joints and your tissue. And it's just really soothing. 
Um, love, love to tell people just to take a couple drops though in a veggie cap as daily preventative and healthy cell turnover, especially after as you age. It's also great for the central nervous system. So a lot of people that may have um, issues with focus and calming or stress and anxiety, this is a great one to smell, make a blend with, take internally or diffuse with wild orange. It's very, very calming. Oregano. Oregano is one that you won't use often, but you will want or be very glad that you have this when you need it. So this one is a powerhouse. Um, this is what you get out with the, when you need the big guns. It was used in World War II when they had a penicillin shortage. So it's amazing for supporting a healthy immune system. It also supports healthy digestion. You can also diffuse it for respiratory function or take it internally. But if you use oregano, it's a warm oil and it can and will burn your skin or um, your mucosal lining. So make sure you always use a veggie cap and when you take it internally just to add as a protectant. It's a very, very powerful cleansing agent and it's very good at purifying things. So it's, it's super effective and you just need a drop or two at a time because remember the oils work quickly. One drop equals 28 cups of peppermint tea. They're 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs and they metabolize out in two hours. So they're very effective. Less is more, more often. But oregano, oftentimes when threats are high, we call it like a flu bomb or whatever, we will use oregano, lemon, frankincense, melaleuca, and on guard together. Two drops each in a veggie cap. And that just helps compact, com combat and support our bodies as they're fighting whatever bugs have invaded them. So now we're going to talk about blends. The last four oils we have are blends. And this first one I'm going to talk about is one that you'll use a lot in the winter time and, and, and moving into the spring season as well. This is doTERRA's respiratory blend. It's beautiful. It's got peppermint and eucalyptus um, melaleuca, lemon, and then cardamom. Cardamom is an amazing oil source from Guatemala. So it's got a very herbaceous, minty, fresh scent. It's also known as Breathe Easy, I think, in Australia and Canada. But you can apply this topically over your chest, put a drop in your hand, and just open your um, palm up, or rub your palms together, and just Breathe that in, it's very invigorating, kind of smells like a Vicks Vapor Rub, but no synthetics. And it helps really minimize the effects of seasonal threats. So it's a great one to diffuse with lavender or just by itself when threats are high. It's very calming though, so oftentimes I'll, you can diffuse this when you have little kids at night with um, some lavender serenity. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful oil, and you'll want to use that, especially during the winter season as you move into the spring season. The next oil is probably the most popular oil that doTERRA has, and that is the On Guard. You will use this a lot during the winter. It's a powerhouse. It's got a blend of wild orange, cinnamon, clove, um, or, uh, I think, eucalyptus. But this one is um, such an amazing blend that there's a whole line made out of it. We use our toothpaste all the time. You can make a hand sanitizer or purchase the hand sanitizer. But on guard is if threats are high, like you're going to travel, you would put a couple drops in your water or you could take it um, internally in a veggie cap. It's a great one to diffuse. It smells very um, uh, like fall. It's, it's beautiful actually um, to diffuse just to purify the air and boost the immune system. If you've been around people that are sick or under the weather, it's a great one to take internally or diffuse. So this is one that most mommies will all carry in their purse or have their the hand sanitizer. You know, I wipe down stuff in the airplane and or the carts at Target. So this is one that I use daily. The next one um, I wanted to talk about is just where I really want to briefly just mention that On Guard has a whole host of products. So we use all of them, but I love their On Guard Cleaning Concentrate. You can just add a couple tablespoons of that to a 16 ounce glass spray bottle and make your countertop spray. The toothpaste is phenomenal. My kids have grown up on it and they won't take anything else. But if you are on team fluoride, you won't like it because it doesn't have fluoride. It has no sugar. It's just flavored with xylitol. So it has none of the harmful ingredients that most toothpaste have. And it doesn't say do not swallow or don't take internally. It's amazing. Um, and then we always have the On Guard soft gels on hand. It's got the On Guard oil plus seven other essential oils that are a powerhouse blend 
for when threats are high. I'll take a couple of those every four to six hours. And then I love their laundry detergent. It's non-toxic and it's complete concentrate. There's no water, so you just need a tiny, tiny bit, capful. And that is one of the biggest things that I could tell you is if you start to go organic, organic and like really read your labels and see all of the synthetic harmful chemicals that are in your cleaning and beauty products, start with your laundry detergent and fabric softener. They have the most um, carcinogenic chemicals in them. And so going green is huge because all the chemicals get leave a film on your clothes and then your clothes, that, those chemicals seep into your skin. And so that was the first thing that I did when I started to really reduce toxic load in our home. Last two oils we're going to talk about is the Deep Blue is number one. So Deep Blue is the soothing blend. It's got camphor, wintergreen, peppermint, ylang ylang, helichrysum, um, blue tansy, chamomile, and osmanthus. It's amazing, it kind of smells like icy hot, but this is what you would use after a tough workout or maybe you have chronic um, discomfort and you're needing just to support your joints or your tissue, you would use Deep Blue. You can massage just a couple drops with some coconut oil into your muscles. Um, it's perfect to apply to your feet or knees before and after exercise. It really reduces that stress or like that pain that you may have. I love to use this during my cycles. So if you're a guy, you can just <laughs> tune, tune out for a second. But I also put on here a picture of the Clary Calm. So the Clary Calm is right here. This is the Women's Monthly Supportive Blend. But I pair this with the Deep Blue, and it's phenomenal at reducing discomfort or cramping. They also have a Deep Blue Rub, which is a little bit less concentrated. It's a lotion, and all, I, all nurses and teachers I know love this. But there's multiple ways you can buy this. The Soothing Rub in straight oil. They also have a diluted touch, which is already pre-diluted, and then you can get the bottle of oil and the rub. So there, it's a, one of the most favorite um, oils that doTERRA has. So that's the top 10 oils, guys. I just want to recap, really. If you get a kit, you will get the top 10. And these you can do so much with. Um, when you join our tribe, we have an amazing um, booklet that gives you ideas and recipes for blending and um, using your oils and using them together. But let's just talk about, remember, if you remember nothing else, lavender is your calming agent. It's going to calm skin and, and help with sleep and mood. Lemon is your cleanser. It really helps to cleanse and gently detox your cells. Peppermint's your cooling agent. It helps just support also digestive issues and tension. Melaleuca is the resolver. It helps resolve issues, whether it's on your skin, your nails, and maybe around your ears. Um, Oregano is the supportive one. It's really the big, the big guns for supporting your immune system and digestive issues. Frankincense is known as the restorative oil. It helps restore issues of skin, immune system, and really mood and mood support. Digest Zen is the soothing oil that helps with digestive support. On Guard is the empowering immune boosting oil. Breathe is your um, respiratory support. And then Deep Blue is your comforting one. I don't know if I went over digest then. I don't, yeah, um, maybe I didn't. Okay, so I might have lost a slide. That's okay. The last oil I meant, forgot to mention was digest then, and this is the digestive one that really just helps support digestive issues. It's got fennel in it, which is super strong. It smells like black licorice, but I used this through my whole pregnancy for acid reflux. I would just put it topically. I don't mind the smell, and I just kind of know that it's working. It's super effective, so you can put it on topically, any point of indigestion, indigestion or maybe bloating or discomfort, or you can just take a couple drops internally. If you don't like the taste, you can just use it in a veggie cap. So when you start using oils and incorporating natural solutions to reduce toxic load, you're going to start looking at your kitchen and your um, bathroom cabinets and being like, wow, this is what it looks like. I've totally gone green. Um, but these are some of my favorite top picks that I just wanted to share with you. So On Guard would be number one. I just really love that it's safe, effective, and really helps boost my family's immune system. And I talked a lot about that earlier, but there's if I were to pick two things, it would be the toothpaste and the soft gels that you should start with. The next thing is the Lifelong Vitality Pack. This is a game changer. I have spent lots of money using high-end supplements with my nursing license that I could purchase at wholesale. 
super skeptical, but these are amazing. You have your alpha CRS, which really supports cellular energy and healthy cell um, function. It's like all your powerhouse antioxidants. You then have your Microplex VMZ, which is all your vitamins and minerals. Um, and it's all made from food, whole food. And then it also has nine essential oils. So you're going to get all the immune boosting um, antioxidant oils that are going to help just with cell turnover, like frankincense and clove. And then lastly, you have your Z Omega, which is your powerhouse fish oil, and they source it from Norway. So you usually take four of each of these for a whole dose. And that's based on like a 200 pound person. I take a half dose, two of each, and they're not, they're not synthetic. So they're not ground down into tiny little fake synthetic junk that you pee out. Um, so that's why you take so many and they're amazing. It's actually doTERRA's number one seller, but if you wanted to try it for free and see what you thought and you didn't like it, you can return it. It's phenomenal. I can tell if I miss a dose. Like I can tell if I don't take my vitamins, I feel a little bit more sluggish. And really all it's doing is filling your nutritional gaps because let's be honest, our soil and our food is not what it used to be. And so even if you eat really clean and healthy, you will miss out on all the nutrients that you need because um, we're not getting it like we used to from our food and our soil because it's depleted in a lot of the nutrient rich stuff that we need. The third thing that I love, and these are all of the oils that were launched at the doTERRA convention and I can't just pick one. I'm not going to go into each one of them, but the Yoga Trio kit is absolutely beautiful, and that is the Align Anchor and Arise. You get those, those three together, highly recommend it. I love the Copaiba. It's a game changer for immune boosting. It actually helps with every body system. I usually take that internally with lemon and frankincense daily. I love the Jasmine Rose and Neroli, but probably the Rose is my favorite. It's an amazing, powerful oil. Um, and it's phenomenal that we can get, get rose, um, the rose touch we used to not be able to get it because it's so hard to harvest, but they have it diluted in the touch. But these are all great oils to slowly incorporate when you start to build up your collection. So let's talk about enrollment kits. We have, I just wanted to mention the four most popular kits that I usually share with people. Um, so we have down or up here the family wellness kit if you're a mama and you're just starting to get using oils and you're needing some um, nutritional support and just to use oils with your kiddos this is a kit that comes with a lifelong vitality pack which is a great multivitamin for pregnant women and for mamas that are breastfeeding and then you get the top um, you get the top eight essential oils that are diluted already so you can use them topically as well as two mood oils cheer and peace which are great for supporting you as you um, are breastfeeding or maybe you have a new baby and you might be struggling with some postpartum depression the peace is also great for hormone support as well as supporting the baby it's a great blend for sleep and rest and then you also get the kids pb assist which is the probiotic and the chewable the next aroma kit that I love to recommend is the Home Essentials Kit. It's the top 10 oils that we just talked about, plus the petal diffuser for $275. Um, and that, that they waive the $35 wholesale membership fee. So this is a great, great starter kit. I just went through and showed you the small bottles. Each of these bottles has about 70 drops of oil in them. And you're gonna go through this pretty quickly. These are kind of like the baby sampler ones. The Home Essentials has the big, the big bottles, and these are three times the amount of oil, so there's 270 drops. And this will last you a lot longer, and it'll save you money in the longer run. Next, we have the Aroma Touch Kit. This kit has eight of the small bottles, plus the diffuser and the fractionated coconut oil. It's a great beginner kit. If you're just wanting to get started, you don't want to feel too overwhelmed. There's also a couple other oils I didn't mention today. Um, the Balance, which is a, an amazing mood blend that I love, 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 I use daily. And then the Wild Orange, which is a crowd favorite. And I think Aroma Touch, which is the massage blend. So the Aroma Touch kit is in a great kit just to start and kind of dip your feet in and, and start diffusing and getting used to oils. And then lastly, we have the Natural Solutions kit. So you get the top 10 oils plus some of the mood oils, a beautiful case, a diffuser, the favorite on guard products, the supplements, and then the 
Deep Blue Rub, and the hair care products. And this is a great, great kit to really make a huge shift in your wellness and just how your family is using stuff for, or what your family is using in their health and wellness. I enrolled with this kit. It was like, I was like Christmas, but had I got, done it again and I went back over, I would have enrolled with like the, the diamond kit, which is every product doTERRA has because eventually I was ordering every product and wanting to try it and just starting to really incorporate all of it into our wellness. But I love, love, love the natural solutions kit. So when you enroll with our tribe, I am just one of many educators. Um, these are all some of the leaders that I teach alongside. Um, they're phenomenal women that are living all over the country. You are really being a part of a community of rapidly growing um, educators that love and are passionate about the science and educating on safety. This is a beautiful, beautiful community of people who are like-minded. We really are passionate about resources. So we have private Facebook groups. Um, we have some free eBooks to give you. We also have continuing education classes just like this one. And you can also watch the replay. We also love to enroll. When we enroll somebody, we love to do a welcome call or we get on the call for 30 minutes and just connect with you and figure out what, how and what we can support you with. And basically that's looking at what you ordered or enrolled with and figuring out how you can start utilizing those oils and products to really make big shifts in your health and wellness. There's also free apps you can download to your phone like the Daily Drop that Deterra provides and the Modern Essentials app. And you can just quickly look up stuff um, so that you start learning and feeling confident about your oil usage. doTERRA.com has a phenomenal um, information. They have so much free stuff that they, they share because they're so passionate about oil safety and about equipping you to be confident in your oils. I also recommend the Essential Life book. When you enroll with us with usually a natural solutions kit or higher, we gift you with this book, but you can order it from oillife.com or you can order it from Amazon. I also have it on my website. You can go to akessentialwellness.com and it directly links to that. Source to you is a great website. That's, I mentioned earlier, doTERRA is loading all the scientific research and where they're sourcing oils. And you can also see the transparency in all the results of every test, of every oil tested. Every liter is tested and you can look it up um, with the SKU number on the bottom of each bottle of oil and see the results. Aromatic Science has all the latest science research that's being posted on PubMed as well as Aromatic Science. And then our tribe also does two week of oil camp where we really just teach you how to use your oils and get comfortable in a private group. So the Loyalty Rewards Program is a great way that once you start using your oils and maybe you're getting familiar and comfortable and you want to um, get more benefits for your buck, I just like to mention this, you can earn 30% back on anything that you purchase plus your shipping reimbursed by using the Loyalty Rewards Program. It's phenomenal. So when I got started, this is how I started to build up my collection. And then lastly, we have an amazing tribe, like I said before. So you have a lot of tools at your disposal to, to really help and support you as you grow. And then if you ever decide that maybe you wanna share with others and you're interested in the business, we have an awesome tribe that would love to incorporate or welcome you open armed and just really um, like support you as you journey and you start building an amazing business. This is probably um, my favorite part. It's like the best kept secret as far as personal growth and development. And I never thought I would ever do something like this. And it's been such, such a gift. So lastly, I just want to leave you with one of my favorite quotes. When you know, when we know better, we do better. And this is just a picture of my pregnancy, my last pregnancy with my son. He was my bonus baby and such a gift. And I just never thought that I would get to have babies. And so really my journey in fertility brought a lot of health and healing um, and then brought me doTERRA. So I'm super grateful for that because now that I know so much more, I can do so much more and I'm feeling really empowered. So thank you for being a part of this webinar tonight. Uh, if you're watching the replay, thank you. And I hope you guys have an awesome night.